my crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner, um, to the dining table side of the crafty corner. Uh, so welcome to our, uh, to my, our, all of us, uh, a short yoga for crafters um, video. And I thank you for joining me, whether you're joining me live or you're joining me later um, in all the places that I post this. Um, give me a like, give me a love, let me know that you're watching. Feel free to subscribe if that's an option. Um, okay, <laughs> so I am prepping super strong for my catalog launch on Sunday in my Facebook group at 1.30. And I am working on make and takes, I'm working on the projects coming up for the next month. I am doing a ton of stuff. And I was noticing that my back is feeling a little bit sore. So I thought I would give you um, a two-part, what would we call this, like anti-sinning yoga. Okay, so we all sit a lot and sometimes we need to relieve that. So we need to relieve the tightness in this contraction in our hip flexors. And many of us, it's very hard to stay sitting upright, right? So we slouch, we lean over, and so we're gonna work on that. So before we um, stand up, we'll take a moment to sit together and breathe. So bring your ankles under your knees and your knees align with your hips. So if your knees normally go out or your knees normally come in, see if you can get, bring them neutral. The belly's gonna pull in a little, roll your shoulders up and back and down. Oh, right there, that feels pretty good. Do that again, up and back and down. Oh, so good. Pause, let's take one deep breath together. Take an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the nose. All right, so I'm gonna make us work on the way up. So we're gonna get up super strong. Tuck your feet in a little closer hinge forward, bring your hands to your thighs, and then push on your thighs and stand all the way up. Okay, good, I have a head. I was a little uncertain if I stood up, would I have a head? That sounds really funny, but um, okay, next. You may wanna hold on to the back of your chair or to the table or the counter or your desk or something. We're gonna do the hip flexor release. And I know I've showed you this one before. The ones that work, they come up all the time. So step one foot, so right now my feet are hip distance. Don't think you can quite see my feet, but you get the idea. So take one, actually, I'm gonna come closer. <laughs> you can't see her, but there's a dog on the cushion right behind me. So step one foot back, just about one step right behind. Roll your shoulders down and back, pull your belly and lift your heart, and then press your hips forward. Do you see how you feel a stretch here? If a little more stretch would feel good, take your arm up, and it can be bent. It could be straight, take your arm up, still pressing forward. And then the very last option, lean away. Oh, I'm gonna stay right there. Oh. And we breathe. So we're getting stretch in the hip flexor, stretch in the side ribs, stretch in the shoulder, all sorts of good stuff is happening here. Breathing here. Now you're getting contraction on the other side and that's okay, we'll stretch that out. We need at least 30 seconds. So we're breathing here. and then gently release. Okay, give the shoulders a roll. Step the foot forward. Same thing other side. So just step the foot back one, one foot width for you. Press, oh, that feels really good. Press your hips forward. Plus, um, I ride my Peloton a lot, so cycling, uh, running, anything like that is gonna contract those hip flexors. All right, bring the arm up. The other hand can just rest on the hip. Belly pulls in pressing the hip accurately forward. And then if you like, oh, there we go. Take that little lean away. Breathing here. Long, deep breaths. One more breath. And bring it back to center. Roll the shoulders, step the foot back. All right, we finish it off. This is only a three-parter. Well, really a four-parter, right? If you count that um, shoulder roll at the beginning. So hands to the back of your chair, on the top of your desk, on the kitchen counter, whatever you need. You're gonna walk back. All right, the dog's gonna have to move. You're gonna walk back, bend your knees, let your butt go way behind, and if it's comfortable, bring your head right between your upper arms. That adds a little chest stretch. Good, slide your tailbone back. Stretch super long as if when in between each vertebra, we were making more space. Good, breathe in here. 
So this is getting the shoulder stretching, the back stretching. Oh, it's making the face. You can wag your tail just a little if you want. Oh, I see on the floor a cute little sequin. Oh, I hope it didn't fall off my card. I was gluing these cute little sequins onto this card I'm going to share on Sunday. And I see one on the floor. I'll pick it up after. All right, bend your knees. Walk it in slow, slow, slow. And let's stand in Tanasana Mountain Pose to finish us off. So feet hip distance apart, belly in, shoulder. Oh, I am like two inches taller than when we started this. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm super happy um, to share a little bit of yoga with you. I hope that you find it beneficial. Give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you're watching and I'll see you next time.